hello guys welcome to this new video so after very long time i'm going to make a video on animation it means the flutter animation okay so here in this video we are going to make this type of custom little animation provided by the animation pages that you can find in the pub.dev okay this animation package is provided by the flutter dev team so uh, head on to the pub.dev and search for animation okay you can get this animation package okay here in this example i am going to show you how to create that type of animation effect it is called container transform okay after watching this video you can able to make this type of animation with ease okay this tutorial is fairly simple please make sure to watch the video till the end okay and if you like it then please hit the subscribe button and also share with your developer friend okay so at first i am going to show you how to make this type of floating action button to a new screen transition okay let's hope let's go to a code editor i am using vs code you can use android studio as well okay so here in the android studio uh, when you create a flutter project then you can get the main.dart file clean up this main.dart file because we are going to write our code from scratch okay make sure to add the dependency the animation dependency coming from this animation package okay just copy it and paste it here okay now and then just type save and the vs code download this package for you okay so let's go to the main dot dot file and for at first import material package okay now let's uh, write our main function for for that type void main okay and here type run app this run app going to run our material app Okay, that's it it's very easy and let's create our uh, means first screen the home screen okay J just create a still let's use it and type home screen this is our home screen and it has a scaffold in it just type scaffold here in the material app write the home okay here in the home we add this home screen widget this home screen means the first screen we are uh, going to hit when the app runs okay type home screen that's it fairly done okay let's write some boilerplate code means adding the app bar and uh, means some text at the center and also a floating action button okay till then enjoy this music now here in the floating action button we are going to do some different thing so before going much detail let's create the another screen the screen that we are going to transform to okay for that just create a stateless widget okay uh, let's name it as destination screen destination okay that's it and this screen also contains some scaffold okay uh, it is better to copy paste rather than writing okay that's it it does not contain any floating action button also this is the destination piece okay done now the real magic start from here okay if just follow this part very carefully at first import the animation packages okay that we are the that we have added in this pubspec.yml file we are going to import it here okay here in a floating action button we have to type open box okay oh, oh sorry open container this, uh, uh, this open container 
needs two required property first one is the close builder and second one is the open builder the close builder is called to obtain a child for a container in the closed state okay when the container is in the closed state then this close builder is going to call okay this close builder means in our case it will be the floating action button and the open builder in our case will be this new destination screen okay when we click on the uh, floating action button then we have to open this destination screen okay here in the close builder it take two parameter the first one is the context and the second one is this open builder widget okay we are going to type just open widget then let's define the function we're going to return a floating action button on pressed is null but we have to write on pressed is open widget okay it's fairly simply done okay that's it now in the open builder it is fairly simple okay it also contains two parameters the first one is the build context and the second one is the close widget this close widget this close widget is nothing but this close builder okay means this close widget refers to the close builder now here also return this destination base it is very simple right i think it is the most simple transition effect in flutter okay if you are just confused then let's do a quick recap okay here in the floating action button we use this open container widget okay this open container widget will handle all the animation and transform properties uh, means the animation from the floating action button to the new screen all of this is handled by this open container widget it has many properties you can see from here okay it has some close events close save on close you can uh, means try and experiment with all these parameters okay and for this purpose i am going to make it very minimal okay now it contains two required parameters first one is a close builder means what will be the state of the widget when it is closed means in our case it is the floating action button and the another one is the open builder means what will be this what will be its state on the, when when it is open okay so this open builder um, return a destination and this close builder return a floating action button means when it is closed we have to display a floating action button and when it is open we have to display a destination okay and it also take two parameters first one is the context it's a build it is build context okay and second one is the open widget this open widget simply refers to this open builder here in the close widget simply refer to the close builder okay i hope you understand okay and this is done okay let's run our flutter app and see what is the result you can see the result it is very very fantastic okay it's very fantastic and also if you want to um, see the animation slowly okay you can add another parameter a duration okay transition duration i think okay transition duration it takes a duration and type seconds okay if you means uh, see the animation clearly and also slowly you just toggle this duration okay then you can see the animation all the musical thing okay that is going on in flutter okay so if you are still with me then thank you and also if you like the video hit the like button and hit the subscribe okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoy